But the Prime Minister chose as his big New Year message to tell us that he was definitely going to have an election this year. Go on then. Do you know? What's the date? November the 14th. Save the date. Do you know that? I'm pretty certain that is the date that Downing Street have currently selected. Doesn't mean, of course, they won't be pushed off this it. This is insider intel. Well, a little birdie has told me that the various work programmes required to get ready for a general election have that date singled out. All across Downing Street, listening to this, people will be thinking, thinking, who is the little birdie? I wonder who it was. Who's his source? Do you well, think you've dropped them in it? These are all my friends, Ed, as you know. Oh. Now, anyway, November 14th, by the way, logic leads you there because you're not going to have it in the first half of the year. I mean, the, this pretense that, uh, you know, Rishi Sunak could have a May election was something we discussed last year. It was, it's a non starter He's tw more than 20 points behind in the opinion polls. He's not going to have a spring election. So then you're left with the autumn and you're probably thinking, I know, we'll have the party conference as a kind of launch pad. We'll fit in an autumn statement like a mini budget either before that or immediately after it. And that kind of leads you into mid-November. So November the 14th kind of writes itself. But they did make a total mess of um, the beginning of the year. The idea that Rishi Sunak's um, first intervention should be about the election date. But the reason why he had to do that was because they had briefed straight after the new year the budget date, an early budget date, March, March the yeah. 6th. No, but early in March, yeah. which said immediately, ah, oh, March the 6th, tax cuts, beginning of the election campaign, they're going for a May election. So they set up all the speculation there was going to be a May election. It allowed Labour to jump in and say, so it's a May election. And then as a consequence, Sunak then has to clarify, actually, no, it's the second half of the year. Why does he want to box himself in? If, in fact, the polls had shifted and he could go early, he should go early. He's now ruled that out. And he's ruled that out because he had to close down Labour speculation about May. I mean, it was a mess.